okay, this is division against stage one for, with remainders. That's really important because a lot of the time in the real world, uh, things don't share exactly. So we need to make sure we have examples when certain things don't share exactly. For instance, our sweets, we have 10 sweets and we're sharing them between three people. How many sweets are they going to get all together? How are they going to get each? So again, we do the same process as uh, the sharing in the last example. So we're going to share them one at a time. For each person, we give one to each person. Then we give two to each person. We give three to each person. And can we give four? I oh, know we can't give four equally unless we chop the sweet up in bits. So therefore, this is our what we call our remainder. That's going to be our remainder. We've done that. So our answer to our question here is going to be: There's ten sweets we're sharing to three people. They're going to have three sweets each, and there's going to be one left over. So remainder one. That's stage one sharing with remainders.